everyone, this is your cat is speaking. Welcome to the DHC Network and today we are back with another Let's Play on Grand Theft Auto Fight Story Mode. We are now on part 21. So here we are in Santa Show. We're gonna meet up with a no unknown strangers. So other than that, enough of me talking. Let's go straight to the gameplay, shall we? Let's talk to this stranger. <laughs> Taxis have a hard time. Alright, here we go to talk to this guy. Wait. Wait, wait! Stop! What's the problem, homie? Wait! Carbon based life form. Check. Six feet tall. Check. Slightly excessive adipose tissue. Normal distribution. Check. Readings are. Readings are. This little machine is broken again. Check. Star date 14 9 305. Time is 789 past the ninth meridian. We are clear. Whew. Greetings, CBL. Carbon based life form. Greetings, home. Have you seen them, CBL? Seen who? I don't know. They came to me last week. There was a brilliant joy and a terrible confusion. And they were laughing and screaming and crying all at once. And some said, Omega, we come in peace. And others said, we have come to enslave you. We are an infinitely intelligent race of super cosmic beings. And out of the six billion people on this planet, we have chosen you for no good reason. And just then they were about to abduct me and do experiments on me. When their ship crashed. Man, you done lost your motherfucking mind. And now, I've got to find the pieces. Man, bullshit. Look, look. See this? Hmm? If you see some, if you see some, let me know. Yeah, yeah, okay, I will, man. Alright then, so that was Omega. And he's a hippie in this game. Fun fact, guys. Some people think there's a theory that they say that he is the truth what from a freak. from Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. But um, unfortunately, it makes no sense because Truth is older in San Andreas and took place in 1992. Well, Omega's probably like in his 20s, and um, and and I believe it's all um, how you say. It? And, and plus, you know, there are different universes between the 3D universe and the HD universe. I don't know if some of you guys believe that or not. So, other than that, um, that's, that's just, just to assign that we have to find 50 um, spaceship parts around the map. So, other than that, we're going to switch to Trevor and do Cletus mission. So, other than that, I'll see you guys there. Alrighty then, so here we're in Polito Forge. We'll go ahead and speak with Cletus to do some hunting, I believe. Let's talk to him. There you are, Trevor. Ah, oh, but ain't my favorite marksman, huh? How are you, Cletus? Fine and dandy, sir. You ready to hunt some elk? Ah, uh, beat satellite dishes. <laughs> Lead the way. Oh, here you go. Now, uh, put this in your mouth. A bad day hunting still beats a good day working, my pa always used to say. All right, let's go ahead and follow Cletus. Hunt some elk. What is this thing in my mouth? And why do I have the feeling I'm not the first person to use it? I'll explain that in a while. Let's start with the basics for now. Elk senses are razor sharp. If they see you or hear you, you'll spook them. And they'll bolt. You gotta move slowly and quietly and keep that aside. But an elk's nose is as big as defense. When you're tracking elk, you always need to watch the wind direction. If you don't stay downwind of them, they'll pick up your scent and be gone before you can say boo. Especially with that distinctive, uh, musk of yours. I'm calling pot and kettle on that, my friend. All right, this is a prime area right here. You feeling ready, Trevor? Raring to go. Okay, let's see if we can bag ourselves some elk. I saw a young bull using a down tree to scratch his antlers on not ten minutes ago. Follow me. I'll keep us downwind so we don't spook him. Alright. Let's go ahead and hunt the elk. So, um... Let's find it. Let's try to see if we can find it. I used to hate this mission back then. I never was a fan of, fond of this. But let's see if we can try to ace this in one try. Hopefully. 
All right, I think I see it. Hang on. All right, there you go. You're colder than a mother-in-law's kiss. All right, come on, let's go back to Cletus. All right. Stick with me. I'll lead us further in. All right, let's go. Stay close. I ain't seen much else or nothing else out here. Oh, we're gonna have to see if we can coax one into the open. That's where that thing you've been chewing on comes in. Ah, yes. Please enlighten me. It tastes like old person. That's a diaphragm. Mm-hmm. An elk whistle for you and me. All right. Give All right. it a good blow. See if we can get any nearby elk to holler back. All right, let's go ahead. Let's, let's call for some elk. Sounds like someone strangling a clarinet player. <laughs> and I talk from experience. Shh. Listen. All right, that's the elk that respond back. That? He's over there. You're downwind, so he's yours to lose, Trevor. Go All right, him. come on, let's go. Let's let's find that elk. Uh, or she's the whistle, so we can find the. Where is this freaking animal at? Uh, don't I, I hate don't you hear about hunting in this game? Space. Right All right. Right, let me fight. Where is it at? I fought, I see it. Down. There you go. Not bad. In the neck, not too bad at all. Okay, follow me. We'll move a little further in. Stay quiet. I think we might have a mating pair up ahead. Let's check it out. Alright. Remember, if it's a pair, we're only here for the male. No does. That's my rule. So if you see one with no antlers, leave it be. Alright, then. Again. See if you can get a beat on them. Right, let's blow that whistle again. So now we're gonna, now we're gonna find multiples, but we're looking for the male kind, the bucks, not the females. Okay, this is good. Same as before, nice and steady. Let's see if we can find them. Let's find an elk. You might want to blow that whistle again. Yeah, I lost. I kind of, I can't tell where they at. Uh, especially the worst part is hunting one by your own. Without the need of Cletus. Let's go ahead and um gotta find a good sense of direction. I can't see of all these plants. I'm surprised there's no um hunting online guess due to the fact that we have no animals, but uh, you guys think the um we have animals again and um Where's he at? I don't see him. Uh, where is he? Where is he, Cletus? I don't see the guy anywhere. All right, let's, I try to find where they at. It's hard for me to tr navigate where they at. Most. Oh, wait, hang on, I see something. Not the flatheads. All right, hang on. Give another honk on that diaphragm. Nope, female. That's not what we're looking for. Uh, I need. Uh, the male has to be somewhere nearby. I only see the female, but... Where is it? See, that's the thing. I can't see through these plants. Let's go ahead and climb this rock. Oh, no. Gotta keep my noise. Oh, right, we gotta stay quiet and stay low. I can't find this thing. Ah, I kind of regret starting this mission already. Where is it? You ain't prepared to kill. I can't find. Let's go by the road. Because it's hard for me to find these. Oh, no. Did I spook it? God damn it! I, that's why I hate this mission. He can't see it, but it sees you. Like It's like... Elks have freaking x-ray, and yeah, they know to sense anything. Oh, I hate this mission already. Stay quiet. I think we might have a mating pair up ahead. Let's check it out. All right. Remember, if it's a pair, we're only here for the male. No does. That's my rule. So if you see one with no antlers, leave it be. Blow your whistle again. See if you can get a beat on them. All right. Let's do it again, but I want to get a good advantage point. That's the hard part. You can't see unless hey, this thing has good. thermal. Same as before. Nice and 
license, daddy. If only I had to take Thermos the heavy sniper mark two. Wait, hang on. Nope, D, that's a female. Alright, we gotta. F oh my god, come on. I'd park yourself there if I was you. But where is it? Let's call it again. Ma, uh, where is it? And we gotta keep away from the wind distance. You leave that dough alone now, Trevor. Now I don't know where, where is he? Wait, hang on. Is that him or is that a rock? Oh, wait, hang on. I think I see something. I see him. You got this now. All right, finally. On your own for the next one. Ah, uh, the worst well, part. I got an idea how we can go in on this together. Text me a pick your next kill. And we'll talk business. Ah, Alright, come on. Uh, good luck. I'll holler at you in a while. I wonder why Cleus brought a shotgun instead. He could have bought I don't know, another pair of snakes. Alright, let's call we're gonna phone Alright, why well, have my phone out? Alright, this one's nearby. Please let it be easy. Please make this easy. Please. Cause this part is the worst part in the freaking Come on, where is it? Come on. All right, where is it at? All right, let's go on stealth mode. All right. I try to find the last, but watch out for other females too. We're not trying to kill them. Uh, hey, hunting. Can it be the same hunting? Oh wait, okay, I, I see a target. Gotta confirm that's a male or a female. Make sure it's not a female. Oh, perfect. Down. All right, let's go. All right, we got, you know, okay, here we go. All right, let's go, let's take a photograph and send it to Cletus. You know, I had no choice shooting in the back because I was most likely gonna miss, so. Let's send, let's send it to Cletus. There you go. Finally, I'm done with this mission, man. All right, let's wait for his text. All right, beauty, got a GPS tag and everything. I reckon it could work. Calling you now. All right, let's wait for Cliz's phone call right now. There it is. Let's answer Time it. A photo, another nice kill. So this is what I'm thinking. All this demand for wild raised meat with them city folks right now? If we divide and conquer, I reckon we could make ourselves a tidy little sideline. Text me a photo of your quarry. I'll let you know what it's worth and come by to pick it up soon as I can. I like my meat with some age on it anyways. Uh, what do you say? Yeah, I say we'll see. I got a few other irons in the fire at the moment. All right, well, the offer's there. And you can keep that elk collar. Was my grandma's before she passed. I'll be hearing from you. Alright then, so hunting's now available. Let's see how I've done. I think I got bronze. Heart Hunter, downwind. Then you see, I kind of expect I was going to get a bronze on this mission. So, so now there's hunt. Now hunting's available. We could do that to make some extra money. They should do that on GTA Online for the next gen, but who knows when. But I doubt they'll do something like that. So, um, other than that, um, we're gonna go switch to Michael and start. Oh crap! What, what the hell? Freaking cougar! That's a Hagen killed by those freaking a animals. So, other than that, I'll, we're gonna switch to Michael and we're gonna do Martin Madrasso's mission. So I see you guys there. All right, three, two, one. All right, all right, guys. So here we are at um, Martin Madrasso's mansion. And if you guys forgot who Ma Martin Madrazo was, he he appeared in part three of my video on the on the GTA 5 story mode where uh, we tore his um his um, vacation house down in the hills. So other than that, um here we are at his house. Let's go ahead and start the mission. Let's we're gonna meet Martin Madrazo for the second time and Trevor's first time to meet Martin Madrazo. What is this? It's a thing. You said you wanted work. This is work. Uh-huh. 
And who's the guy? You'll see. Yes? Hi. <laughs> oh. Hello. We're looking for Mr. Madrazzo. Patricia, for fuck's sake, just let him in. Right this way, gentlemen. <laughs> Patricia, get us something to drink, would you? Quickly! Hey, good to see you again, Michael. <laughs> Likewise. Uh, this is my friend Trevor. Uh, sit down. Sit, sit, sit. So what did you tell him about me, about Martin Madrazo? Uh, Martin's an old friend of mine, Trevor. The truth. Martin is a terrifying psychopath who tried to kill me. Exactly. Uh, but some people, <laughs> they no longer fear me as much as they used to. People who wear clothes to me. Uh, my cousin, uh, you met him, Michael. <laughs> well, apparently, he's thinking about testifying against me. So I have him killed. I'm going to. By you. Our debt was settled. This is a favor. For a friend. What does friendship mean nothing these days? Ah, uh, hello? What's the deal? This is him. Javier. He's flying off to Liberty City this afternoon. <whistles> and he's taking some files of mine. Innocent files that um, I need back. There's a gun set up in the hills. I have a man watching at the airport. We'll let you know, and when he flies by, shoot him down and get the files back. A man, what's a pay? <laughs> huh? Trevor, come on. You still want a drink? Not now! Pendeja! Que no ves que estoy hablando con las gentes aquí? All right, you grab a vehicle, something versatile. I'll handle the gun. All right! And so, um, as you guys saw right there, um, Javier, the guy who, who swing Michael with a bat, um, need anything, get me on the headset. All right, then, so we're going to need a vehicle, so, um, so basically what just happened, I guess he, he's going to testify against Mar Madrasso, so he requested Michael and Trevor to kill him and get the, some important files, so, um, whoa, stupid car, I need a car badly. Oh, this car should do. All right. Let's go. Let's grab this sports car. All right. Uh, all right. Here we go. Let's go. So we're just head straight to. Let's head to the. Um. Let's head straight to the ob observatory. Mike, Mike, you there? I got some poor bastards dirt bike. Yeah. Okay. Well, I ain't at the observatory yet. Start heading that way. By the way, I know why you took me there to that guy's house. Understood. Understood what? That he's a terrifying psycho and that you might have that in common? What is it? We gotta work for him. We don't gotta work for anyone, but I read you, man, loud and clear. What are you talking about? All that Aztec stuff. Those weird little artifacts. What? The little fertility statues, whatever. The guy has trouble getting it up. We'll clear two, three million on those. Easy. Perverts will pay anything for hope. We weren't casing the joint. So what's it all about? Okay, the guy lives well. That don't mean we're robbing him, but it does mean he's got money to pay people who help him. When the time comes, he'll do the right thing. If he don't, please, let me handle it. You don't get a wife like that without being rich and an asshole, right? The fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, freaking, freaking Trevor and Michael. So, um... So now we're almost there to the observatory, and it's such that um, Miguel Madras was never mentioned because I know he was, um, he always been added part of the Kyle Perico heist. But however, though, if they have a chance to do a store DLC, they should definitely include Miguel Madrasso. See him and his father working together on something. All right, so here we are at the observatory. We're going to go ahead and get inside the van. All right, there we go. We see it. Uh, I see the van with the gun in it. You nearby? Not far out. All right, let's go inside. All right, here we go. All right, this now this one of the most unique things that um this game has. All right, let's. If you could see this gun, all right, let me it see. might convince you Martin Madrazo ain't someone to be messing with. The fancier the gun, the bigger the pussy who owns it. Now. <laughs> Where's it at? 
Okay, I see it. Okay, I see a little red dot. Let's zoom all the way in and let's get a shot on it. I got her. Southwest of the city. All right, got one. Good shot. Gotta give a lead. All right, let's get another shot. And fire. No. Come on. The sense. Got one. That's two. All right, the next shot should be perfectly. Got it. Can you stay with it? All right, now we're now we Trevor. We're on the dirt bike. Oh, now this is the fun part. We gotta keep up with the plane. Now we're gonna do a lot of off-roading. <laughs> gotta take this off-road if I'm staying with the plane. Yep, that's what we're gonna do. You think I can clear two lanes of traffic? Yes, we can. <laughs> oh, this mission is too fun, man. Come on, let's keep going. We're doing good. Let's keep it up. I know, I'm surprised the plane's still gliding. Alright, we gotta catch up. All hydraulics lost. All hydraulic systems are gone. Roger, November 9 to Tomorrow we gotta stay up. It's just that this traffic's in the way. Alright, we're, we're, we're good. We're, we're good with the plane right now. For sure ain't. Wow, let's keep up. Where are you putting it down? Can you make the LMO see airfield? Can't pull it round. I'm gonna have to put it down in a field somewhere. Why? Okay, you don't make no sense. He could just land on the Sandy Shores airfield yet. It's it's turning like crazy. Like how's it turning that way? Make kind of make no sense, but <laughs> Rockstar logic, you know. All right, let's let's yeah, keep it going. Here we go, over the train! Man, this is the no best part of this mission. No elevator control, very little aileron control. Series doubts of making landing strip, need to ditch. Roger, November 9th. Come on, let's go. You lost your manual flight control system, pull your flat. Now, go to good old Sandy Shores. How's business, Ronald? <laughs> he okay, passed by Ron's house. Uh oh, here we go. That plane's about to go down. <laughs> what a response. Yep, that plane's about to land. Yep, that plane's definitely going down. They remember we ever got behind. Yep. They're in. They're down. Sure thing, but seriously, bro, coming all the way out here, we gotta get paid. Just do the job. I'll get us paid down the road. Alright, we're gonna silence Javier. Where's he at? Alright, oh, what the hell? Oh my god, I'll that'll be spoiled if I die that way. Now let's go get let's go to the inside the plane. And we got the papers. It's Michael. T, how'd it go? Fine, just fine. I got the files. I'll take them to Madrezzo and explain the human cost of this errand. Well, take it easy, man. Listen to me. We'll talk about that later. I want you to just drop off the files. I gotta get rid of this rifle, then we'll talk. What's he even doing? Oh, now we're switching to Michael. I think. 
Yeah, yeah, we're back at Michael. We're gonna destroy that that van with the rifle on it. All right, leave. Okay. Oh, okay. Get back in the van. Okay, I thought we had to we had to torch it. All right, let's go. Let's get out of the area. Oh, come on. Why is this thing's vehicle? This tur this vehicle's turning sucks. All right, what we're gonna do next? Destroy the van. My pleasure. Do I have stickies? Nope. Nah, just throw a grenade. It makes no difference. Forget the jerry can. All right, let's get out of here. And I need a car. So let's go ahead and, um, we're going to steal it up away. So let's go ahead and find a car and we'll go to Madrasa's. What? There's been a change of plans. You don't need to come to the ranch. Meet me at Stoner Cement Works. A little up Sonora Road from there. What are you doing, Trevor? Nothing you wouldn't do. Trevor. Trevor! I wouldn't do it. Somehow I don't believe that. Alright then, so now we have changed our plans. We're now gonna go to um, the um, cement works. Let's see what's going on. What's Trevor doing? Oh my god. Alright then, we'll just go to the cement works. Alright then, so here we are at the at the cement works. We're gonna meet up with Trevor and see what's going on. And why did he change plans? Let's find out. Where is he? Uh, the fuck has happened? Why did he have his car? Man, that piece of turd, huh? No wonder people are stabbing him in the back. What? Happened, cheap bastard. You know, I really don't know why you mess around with people like that, Mike. I mean, really, I Trevor, don't. Answer a fucking question. I asked for a fair day's pay after a fair day's work. Then he kind of got a little angry. So I admit, I kind of got a little angry. Did you kill him? What kind of fucking animal do you take me for? No, I didn't kill him. Oh, fuck. But I did kidnap his wife. Oh, no. Oh, shit. What the fuck did you do? Oh, I just told you what I just did. Now, oh, shit. Uh, unfortunately, I think that we're going to have to lay low for a little while oh. while, you know, we discuss things with Martin. Oh, you think? Why don't you hop in the back? All right, now, Patricia, she already called shotgun. <laughs> now, I know a nice oh, little shit. place we can hang out, you know, it's a, a very relaxing little spot, a little getaway, if you will, a cabin in the woods, you know what I'm saying. Let's see how we do, Kaya Libre, glue the street, floor it, one, shoot, three, I took five shots, which is no good, I kind of, it's all right though, but I guess we'll just continue here. And now it looks like we're going to switch to Franklin, if I'm correct. So now that um, Michael and Trevor are now on the run, basically they, um, how they say, they pretty much, um, uh, let's, let's dismiss him. Take yourself home, boy. So basically, so Michael and Trevor are on the hunt by um, Mar Madrasa because he kidnapped um, Patricia. So Michael and Trevor, uh, they cannot come back to the city because if he do, Mar Madrasa's boys will go after him, which is not a good thing. So, um, all right, so we're going to do one more mission. We're going to do another mission for um, Devin Weston. So I don't know. I'm going to see you there. All right, guys. So um, instead of going to Devin West, we're gonna do go to Michael's house for a mission. But it's strange that Michael's on the run. So let's go ahead and start the next mission. Let's see what's going on, at Michael's. And remember, Michael and Trevor are laying low at the moment. Here we go. Let's see what's going on at Michael's house.
you at, man? Your house is empty. Oh, hey. I had to kind of lay low for a while. Yeah, that nice Mexican we met. Me and T did that job for him, and we fell out. You gotta be joking. I wish I was. So where you at now? <sighs> Desert, out by Alamo Sea. All right, well, I'll hit you if I find anything. Absolutely. Uh, oh, hey. Trevor's got his wife. Trevor's got a wife? No, no, the Mexican's wife. What? <laughs> Shit, I don't know what to say about that one. Nothing. Nothing to say about that. Run! Run! I'm back! Coming, Trevor! Uh, bring me my coffee, I'm gonna cut your arm off. Absolutely! Who the hell's that, your maid? Oh, business partner. Good guy. Very loyal. Ron, Ron, that is Michael. And this is Patricia. <laughs> <sighs> Listen, beautiful. You know, I'm sorry about everything that's happened. And, uh, you know, I can't guarantee no harm's gonna come to you. I might have to chop you up into little pieces before spraying your pulp mess down the drain, but I really hope it doesn't come to that. I appreciate your honesty. You are a good man. I can see that. You need your eyes examined, then. Ron, you miss me? Yeah, Trevor, a bit, I mean. How's the fucking <laughs> business? I, I tried. If you're gonna give me a sob story, I'm gonna rip your fucking throat out and shove a turd down the hole. It's not a sob story. It's just not quite come good yet. But I heard about something to do with Merriweather. Mm, those assholes Big again. cache of weapons they got coming in. So I thought you might want to, uh, requisition mm. it. Fantastic! Let's go! Oh, man. Whoa, no, 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 not you. Sit down. You're a wanted man. Stay low. Now watch her, okay? She's a good lady. Let's go, Ron. Good to meet you, Michael. Fucking come on, let's go! The weapons are coming in. Oh, no. I hate this mission. I hate this mission a lot. Let me tell you this mission. This mission is called, as you guys saw, Minor Turbulence. Let me tell you something. You know, I thought there's any doubt. What are you going to do? We're not going to take out a private army on the ground, Ron. We got to meet them in the air. I, uh, well. Uh, okay. Well, I knew that you were pissed after the Merriweather heist. Giving back the hardware. That was bullshit. Right, right. So I've been monitoring chatter, tapping into Merriweather networks. Feels good to be back in the company of a professional. I gotta say, I got him. Now, I was expecting something a little more impressive. The late, great Michael Townley. Not so late and not so great, right? And no longer called Townley. The years have not been terribly kind. What's the end game, man? We had a good thing going without him. If it's such a good thing, where's my money, huh? Where's my consultancy and my big fat dividend? I want a franchise network, Ron. I want reward cards and merchandise. I want to make gun violence and drug dependency accessible to every man and beast from Hove Beach to Vespucci. I want country clubs and a depressed wife with blonde hair and a hot little secretary who bounces on my boy. <laughs> Maybe if you'd buy into Oscar's business? I'm hearing there's a lot of bounce in the firearms sector. Well, I heard there's a lot of bounce in your head. Where's the TP Enterprise windfall, huh? It takes time. Time and money. Sure, and Michael Townley, the Santa, the fuckface is gonna give that to me. <laughs> All right then, so that's the end of dialogue. So let's see what we're gonna fly. Just the plane I need to take on a heavily armed, tax-funded militia. All right, here we go. Get in touch with my Mexican contact. Tell him we got some guns to sell. I'll get you on the seat. All right, here we go. Okay, yep, yep, it's this mission. Oh, I hate this mission so much. Let me guys tell you something about this mission. Uh, minor turbulence. This ba it references not one, not two, but three missions from Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. This one's a combination of NOE, 
free fall and stowaway. You're gonna see why. You guys probably see it. If you guys don't watch those, play those missions to San Andreas and play this mission. They're very similar. All right, now we gotta fly super low. Oh no! Come on, let's go. This mission is nothing like NOE, not at all. It's even worse and more sensitive. I got the cargo plane right ahead of me. You got the weapons they're using to enslave us on board. If we can get a hold of them. Come on, let's go. Follow the cargo plane, staying close to the ground. Ma, steady. Stay that way. I know it isn't my place to ask, but how exactly do you plan on requisitioning this equipment so you cut up to them? Woo! <laughs> One step at a time, Ronald. Let's just get there first. All right, so here we go. We gotta keep staying low. But it's, it's not gonna be easy, guys. I remember I failed so many times on this mission. Ah, uh, see. This is worse than NOE. Altitude corrected. Oh, come on. Let's go. Let's go ahead and um, keep flying low. Let's fly through the river so we don't get caught. Alright, come on. Fly low. As you guys see, you guys can see a cargo plane. Now let's keep the flight drift under the river. And after that, we're gonna follow that plane. Now we're doing the NOE part, which is flight low. If, if trust me, if for those who play San Andreas, you guys know how it feels. So they brought a mission back to this game. All right, then now we're just gonna keep flying low, which means we gotta fly all over the map. So that's the most annoying part. Where is the plane? There it is. We're gonna try to catch up to it. <clears throat> Excuse me. So yeah, I really hate this mission. All right, hang on. Frank just texted. Let's see what he said. All right, says uh, T. There's some hicks, try dudes. All right, there's some hick type dudes around here asking about you. I'm looking into it. Then let's just keep flying low. We should now we're in Palito. I think we're it heads east. I think that's where we're gonna able to jack the plane if I'm correct. Alright, Palito Cove, alright. We should be fine. I mean we should and yep, we can see the cargo plane just right there. I don't get it, why is it flying around the map? I that's something I don't get. All right, let's keep it going. I'm sure I catch up to it. I think that's what we're trying to do. Are you sure about this, T? Most certainly. These bricks, Merriweather, they're what? Using these guns for a coup in West Africa? Protecting some mineral-rich warlord? I think, I think we're about to start flying. All right, let's go ahead and try to catch up to Merriweather. You know we're on a crop duster, which is not good. Now this part, I gotta be really careful, cause any, if I crash anything, I die, and that's something I really do not want to happen. Come on, let's go ahead, and keep keep flying low. Keep it flying low. Oh my god, I'm putting too much pressure right now. They're in Los Santos International Airspace now. You are clear to gain altitude. 
Yep. There you go. Alright, let's fly close to the rear of the car. Now we're gonna fly toward it. Now this part is the free fall part. For those who don't remember. <laughs> Alright, now we're, and yeah, here's the harsh part. You gotta avoid RPG fire, which is not good. We're almost there to the plane. So this is the free fall part, except the only difference we have to crash the plane to the cargo plane. And Final warning, divert or you will be grounded. Alright, come on, let's go. Alright, let's go. Watch out for rockets. Try to. There it is. Gotta watch out for the other ones. You're actually firing rockets. All right, watch out. Watch out for one more rocket. Let's clash this thing now. I'm flying here. Oh no, no. Bring it around. Oh, I could have crashed it instantly. This is not good. Come on, ugh, this is not, ugh, I hate this. See, I hate this mission. Now I gotta try again. I could've got inside by now. I probably gotta get a bronze. I'm calling it, guys. Come on, I need some speed now. Watch out for more RPG fire. All right, expect. All right, come on. I'm on it. I said they're not, they're not firing no more. Come on, let's get it inside. Now they're shooting at me. And come on. And about now. There you go. Now this is the free fall part. And now, not free fall, now stowaway. Yep, we fight people around and on the cargo plane. Oh no, no, no. Watch out! Those things are about to fall. Alright, let's keep going. You wanna work no! You wanna work for DP Industries? Come on, yeah, watch out! No! I'm about to die. Come on. Close. Let's go. Alright, come on, let's go. Let's climb up the ladder. Climb the ladder, Trevor! Alright, there you go. Let's go. You crazy no! Alright, oh, that was cool. I thought I was gonna die. Now we're gonna fly this thing now. We're flying the, the largest control. aircraft in the game. There has been a change of personnel and destination on the Meriwether jet. We are now landing at Mackenzie Field. That that plane cannot possibly land in Mackenzie Airfield. And once again, I did say this is the last um largest um, aircraft in the game. Be Roger. behind the, the cargo jet is now part of the TP Enterprise fleet. You with the max? Oh, what was I saying was um this is the largest aircraft in the game behind the the Alconos that came out with the Kyle Perico heist, but like uh oh. Fly over them, huh? Above them. All right. Comply immediately. I'm landing at Mackenzie Field. We can discuss. Let's this see you try to hit this thing. On the dirt, Come on. Man. Let's try to hit this thing. No, I didn't get it. I was gonna hit that jet, yo. All right, come on, let's go ahead and they're on to me. Come on, let's go. I don't think you understand the effort I've gone to be here, pal. <laughs> All right, come on. Man, this thing's—I'm trying to hit these freaking things with the wings or something. 
I'm not sure that's not what happened or not, because those things. <laughs> True. He has a point on that. But they will anyways. And here we go, they're gonna start firing. Yep, now I'm getting shot at now. All right, here we go. The stowaway part. I can't do anything. It's going down. If they got to shoot, I'll bail. Got one. All right, here we go. Let's get out here. This is the stowaway part. Let's go. Ah, uh, let's go. Let's let's jump down. All right, we're, let's go to let's go to Sandy Shores. Let's land this. Yep, just like in San Andreas, we do the same thing. So we're about to end in the bit, and we're gonna about to land at Trevor's trailer. All right, let's go ahead and land this thing. Oh man, that was kind of frustrating, sort of, but almost died though. All right, here we go. Let's get our results. Let's see how we do. Bronze. Yep, I told you. I told you I was gonna get a bronze. So that's the end of that mission. So um, other than that, I'm gonna wrap this wrap this thing up here. So um, it's called Ron. Trevor, shit, are you okay? I saw the plane go down. I survived, and Lizard Army didn't do so well, so that's something. Ah, oh, thank God. The fuselage went into the Alamo Sea. You might be able to salvage the hardware with dive gear or something. Ah, oh, good idea. But it'll take time. Tell Oscar he ain't getting these guns. Okay. Look, I gotta ask. Are you in with the federal government? An agent, Sanchez, was round here saying you and Michael had to meet his supervisors at the garage. The cook site. Fuck, I gotta do this, okay? But I'm using them, alright? They, they ain't using me. Let's make that clear. Alright then, so now they just they just exposed the next mission uh, for the... I guess we gotta work for the Bureau, and we got another Lester mission and another Stranger, so... Um, other than that, um, we're gonna, I'm going to wrap this up here. So, um, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give a thumbs like you're new here and might subscribe. This is um, GTA 5 Story Mode Part 21. So, as always, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. And welcome to the DH Network. This is your Captain Speaking, signing out.